Welcome back to my channel. In a previous video, you saw me with my dear friend Danielle and we were talking about her design process. And within that video, I showed you guys a product that I've been working on. The idea for the backpacks actually came from a colleague of mine who works at a, a black led and black organization. And she asked me if I could produce backpacks for her youth. Uh, so she works with over 500 youth in the Montreal area. But for the last two years, she's been doing a back to school drive where she gives out school bags, school supplies and all that good stuff. So she actually wanted me to produce school bags for this specific event and it was because of my, my colleague Tanya that I'm now able to have these school bags. So that's where the idea came from. But just from showing and mentioning the idea to people, people seem to gravitate toward it and, and really seem excited about this product. So I'm really happy that Tanya kind of like planted this seed and created this new product for me. So I so far I have three samples, one of them I've approved. So I wanted to just share kind of the journey um, of developing this product and creating it and show you, showing you guys the three different bags and the stages that they went through. So I'll start with the first one. I showed this in a previous video. So this is the sample that I ordered. I love the fabric, I love the style. I love how on the side you could put um, water bottles in it. There's a really nice deep pocket in the front. What I also really like about this bag is on the inside, there's padding for a laptop. This specific bag as well, you'll notice that it has this little black thing on the side. It's actually a charger. So you could charge your phone, you could charge whatever devices. I chose not to use that. I just really like the style of this. Um, I like how the back is padded as well, which also reinforces for the laptop. So I really want to design my bag based off of this style. So this was the original sample. So this was the first official sample that I received. So it doesn't look bad. It has a beautiful kente cloth that I like to incorporate in most of my products. It essentially is the same style as the other bag. The only thing that's missing is that little charger because I didn't think that was necessary for my product. But you'll see that it has the big Dreamers branding on the side. It has the pockets for the water bottles on each side. The only thing is, I love this. I love the Dream Big on the front. I think it's really beautiful. And this is, um, you know, a logo that I use often. The only thing that I didn't like, I wasn't a fan of this tan suede on top. I find it just doesn't blend properly with a bag. And also for some reason, um, the yellow in the Kente cloth was much too bright. It's not the actual yellow that I normally use. It's normally a deeper yellow. So it was a good first sample, but not exactly what I wanted. It does have, as you can see on the inside, it does have the pocket for the laptop and the padding, um, but also like, I don't like how it has the tan on top of the zippers, like the tan pulleys, I don't even know what, that, what it's called. Um, I do love how on the back you see the Kante cloth on the straps, but although it's a decent first draft and first sample, it still was missing something and it's not exactly what I wanted. So I ordered a second sample, which I'm gonna show you guys now. Danielle designed the school bag, uh, or the backpack as I like to call it, and she made a few minor changes. So I'll show you after side by side both bags. But for example, right on the front pocket, we made the kente cloth a bit smaller so it's tighter and fits better on the pocket. We got rid of the beige tan and we still do have a nice suede feel here, but it's black. Um, we still have this beautiful dream big. Before it was actually outlined with orange, it's now outlined with yellow so it pops more. The back still does have these beautiful straps that I love, really colorful, but my favorite part of this entire bag now is similar to the other bags that have the laptop padding on the inside. The interior is yellow and it looks so, so good. And on top of that, we added a name tag with the logo. So I love this so much. I just think it looks so beautiful. It's exactly what I want. I'm gonna show you guys a side-by-side -side of both products right now. So this is the sample that I've approved. This was the original sample that I received. So you can see that there's a slight color difference in the yellow. It's not the exact same shade. You can see the brown tan on the bag on my to my left, I should say, and to my right, that's gone. It's now the, the black suede. And I just find this one looks so much nicer. So this bag will be available right in time for back to school. I absolutely love it. As always, Danielle hit the ball out of the park. She did a phenomenal job. 
I love the tweaks that she made. And honestly, Tanya and the youth at our organization are really gonna, you know, make a lot of great use of this bag. And I'm just really proud of this product. So it's really great getting suggestions for different products from people because I would have never thought to do this. So I'm just so grateful that Tanya suggested this. Today, I'm coming to pick up my school bags and see them for the first time because they finally arrived from China. Really excited, they arrived in time for back to school, so we're gonna check them out. Then, I also am gonna be giving out some school bags with school supplies for to kids in need for back to school, so we're gonna grab some as well. And my notebooks arrived as well, which you saw in the last video, so I'm gonna grab some notebooks, some school bags, and then head out to pack them up. My school bags arrived uh, last week, I've been dying to come see them, so I'm really, really excited to see what they look like. So let's open up a box. I don't have a box cutter, so I'm going to use my key. Yay! My school bags arrived, and they look really good. The last bag that I saw was my second sample, so now this is the full order. I ordered 600, um, 350 are already spoken for, so then the balance of 350 I'm going to send to my distribution center because the sales agency, uh, Ampersad, is going to be selling the retail outlets, and then the other, I guess I'm going to keep maybe 150 to 100 for myself, um, and then I'll sell those for back to school, so I'm very excited. So let's open this up. What looks like? Oh my god, it looks so good! So the inside pocket, oh good, it has the yellow lining. You can't really see that this is textured, but this is like a black kind of like faux suede, I guess. Then the leather patch here that says Dream Big in Color. Then the inside should have a name tag that says this bag belongs to an orange lining. So not orange, yellowish, but we'll see. Oh my God, yes, it does. Oh, this looks so beautiful. And I'm so happy they arrived right before back to school because right now we're mid-July and school's back in about five, six weeks, so it's perfect timing. This is Amelia, Catherine's beautiful daughter, and she is a phenomenal volunteer and does so much great work in the community. So she's gonna pack up the school bags with her mom and her three siblings uh, and a friend. Mm -hmm. And we realized that we actually need to get four more school bags for teenagers, because my bags are more for young elementary school kids. So I'm just gonna head out, pick up four school bags. I'm gonna hand it over to Amelia and Catherine, and they're gonna pack everything up, and I'll be back hopefully in about a half an hour to finish it. Hi, I'm Amelia. And I'm Olivia. We are sisters and we both received a rising youth grant from Taking It Global, which is essentially a grant given to youth doing uh, good work in their community to help them with their projects. Um, we collaborated to do two separate halves of the same project. I used my grant to um, purchase new shoes for back to school for children in underprivileged areas. And my sister, bought school supplies, so backpacks, binders, writing supplies, binders, do tangs, all, things all sorts of things. Um, and we're here today to give out these uh, you know, bags and shoes to the children. Their parents are coming here for the next two hours or so to pick up everything all together. We just have some volunteers helping us put everything together into the school bags. So we worked together with uh, Overture with the Arts. Um, we were able to work with them because we know Akila, um, and she was actually a great help to us during this project. Um, she actually supplied the backpacks. She's out for a run for the few that we were missing right now, and we were able to use this uh, facility to give out everything because of her, you know, and everything she's done on our behalf. We really appreciate it. That's a wrap on the backpack vlog. It's been a very, very busy day. Please like and subscribe. Take care.